the one of the last tutorials on your Twitch stuff. So this is actually going to be the very last one, and this is going to be on how to do your panels. And I did one similar to this already, but this one's a more in-depth one, and it has a lot more uh, combinations of stuff that'll make it pop out more and be a lot more clean. So uh, before I start this video, if you guys do not want to make any of this stuff, if you guys hop over to my Sellify right now, you guys can purchase everything that I've been making in these tutorials lately. And then once this video is up and done, I'm going to be uploading a everything pack for these, and you guys can just download that as well. So uh, go check this out, go buy something, it goes towards my YouTube channel, goes towards everything else. So uh, basically how to start this off is this is what the really the uh, final image looks like until we just take off the background and we add it to Twitch. And it's not hard to do at all. All you guys are going to need is my stock pack and that's pretty much it. You guys can use any layer styles you want. You guys can use any font you want. It's pretty much all up to you guys and let's get right into it. So first thing you guys want to do is open up the stock pack. So if you just hop over to wherever and just open it up. You guys are going to be left with this folder, just full of stocks and stuff. And you just want to open up the orange light one and then leave it there. And then you want to go over to this. So you guys want to make a new document. I think it's... I'm not going to try to figure it out. It's a really weird font. Or weird pixels. 325 by 65 and then that's pretty much it. So <clears throat> After you make that, you're going to come out with this really long rectangle like this. And you guys can pretty much just delete this stuff or delete if you guys were buying it and then you guys can remake it or whatever so uh, basically what i like doing first is just taking the background and then making it like a darkish gray and making the rectangle that you want to add your stuff on to black so don't make it too big because you guys are going to be cutting it and center it maybe make it a little bigger and center it and then you guys can make a new layer take a polygon tool and just pretty much chop off one of the edges like this file or right click make and this make a new color just make it like any color you want you guys are gonna be hiding it anyway and then hold control click that rasterize your rectangle control x to take it away edit transform and flip horizontally and then do the same thing for this side All right, and then you guys can just recenter it. So basically, the next thing you guys want to do is add your stock. So just pretty much bring it over here, and then add it, and then just zoom out right away. And basically, when you zoom out, oh, it's even bigger than that. When you zoom out, you guys are gonna need to make it smaller. And it doesn't really matter the actual size; it's just how you like it. So after that's on, just hit enter, zoom back in, and then just take this and bring it into the picture. So what we want to do is add it to like a clipping mask. Oops, I had the whole entire folder. That was my bad. Only add the one thing, don't add the whole folder, because then you'll be screwed. Yep. Alright. What we're going to do making clipping mask, hold alt, just click it on the rectangle. And then you guys can pretty much change it to any color you want. I'm going to keep following the blue, like the blue feel to this. And then just take your opacity and lower it down to about 40 or 50. So now you guys want to start adding your extra stuff on the sides. So what I like doing is just uh, making a new layer under it. And then taking your rectangle, hitting control J and taking the bottom one, hitting control T. And just make it a little smaller and just kind of make a little pop out right there maybe a little, a little bigger all right and then you guys can add any layer style you want onto it i'm adding just a, a silver one but when you guys are adding it make sure none of them have a drop shadow because the drop shadows will ruin the whole entire thing and then just add this let's hit control j and just pretty much drag this one to the other side nothing too nothing too hard Next thing you guys want to do is just make a new layer under the rectangles again and just click right here in this corner and bring upwards and then bring it in the middle. And you guys will see you guys are doing like basically the same thing that you guys were doing for everything else. Just make it any color and add that layer style into it again. Taking off the drop shadow. Control J. Flip horizontally. And then you guys can just drag over here. 
and then you guys have that. So if I go back to this, you guys can see that's pretty much almost everything that I've done. But now what we're gonna do is add the text, and what I'm gonna do first is actually just make this background a little bit darker. I should probably, I'm gonna put like a tint to it too. Make it a little darker, add a tint, and then you guys can start fiddling with your your shapes. Make sure that they're all even. Um, that's that's pretty good. So phone went off. Sorry about that. So next thing you guys want to do is pretty much add your text, and the text isn't too hard. Obviously, you just put your little text tool, and you guys can put it to anything. I'm just gonna put it to your text. I should put it to template. Make it white, and then just put it above everything because <clears throat> you guys aren't gonna need it. So after that, you guys can just pretty much throw this into the middle. It should lock down in the middle somewhere. There it is. And then you guys have this centered. Um, really, the only thing else you guys can do to with text like this is grab your pen tool, click in the bottom right hand corner, and then click on the top and make like a little curved. Uh, a little curved object and just fill it up with like a black or something something dark and then just delete the path and then make another clipping mask holding all and then just drag it on and then lower the opacity to like 13 and it just creates a nice little gradient or what else you can do is add a layer style into it that has already a uh, gradient put onto it so now you guys have this done next thing I'm gonna do is just right click on your rectangle again put an inner stroke on or inner glow or inner show doesn't matter of a white and just kind of put the opacity to like soft light and then you guys can turn the opacity up to like a 65 nothing too crazy and then you guys can start adding your shadows so these shadows are actually pretty important when you guys do these and what you want to do is just make a new layer keep that background on and then do these in sections. So I'm going to do the bottom first. If I click right here in the bottom right hand corner, go down a little bit, hold shift, go down a little bit, hold shift, go up a little bit, shift, up a little bit. And then you guys can bring to the side, and then you guys can fill it with a black color. And then lower the opacity to like 20s or 19s. So then you guys can scroll up, and then make a new layer above everything. And then add the shadows right here. So you go out and then down to right to this white thing. And then go back up. Fill it with a black color. And then put this back to like 20s. Control J. Right edit and flip horizontally. And then you guys move this over here. And you guys are pretty much set. So basically that's almost it. Only thing else you guys could do is add your logo in the background. Other than that, there's really nothing else to add. Um, there's other like little like things you guys can do. I keep zooming in now, I'm trying to find like so it's not like all blurry. I don't know. It's really it's really hard with Photoshop. But um, pretty much how to save these: take off the background, file, save as, and then you guys can just save it as a PNG. And then that's pretty much it. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if there's anything else, I'm gonna think about it right now. Um, definitely check out my Selfie. Also, thank you guys for 5,500 subscribers. And the last thing, that my computer will be here in three days. And I'm super excited. I'm making a video on that. So this will be my last tutorial before the computer comes. So this is, hope to see you guys in the next video. If you guys like this, leave a thumbs up. And also, the full Twitch revamp will be in the description below to download. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace out.